Hello 8th grade, this is lesson 4.7 from the Red Book, Writing Equations in Point Slope Form. By the end of today, you should be able to write equations of lines in point slope form. Alright, here we go. Really quick, what I want, do want you to copy down is I do want you to copy down this equation, y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. It's up there, it's also over here. If you want to label this for yourself as well, just as an example, this is going to help you understand this equation. Okay, so please copy this down. Point slope four. Y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So, so far we have three different equations, right? We have slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Then we have standard form, ax plus, I think it was bx. Well, I forgot the equation. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. And then uh, we have the new one. Uh, which is point slope form. Um, we have y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1. Yeah, I was right. I second guess myself. And this is standard form. Okay. So it looks like this. So we have slope intercept form. We have the standard, standard, and then we have point slope form okay all three of these so all three of these do the exact same thing in different variations all you do need to know is for right now is we're working on this one right here okay point slope form it looks difficult it looks a little bit wild it's not it's going to make a lot a lot of sense okay as soon as we write it all down all right so here we go. Here is our first question, and it says like this. Write an equation using slope and a point. So write an equation in point-slope form. So it's the one we just wrote. So step number one I want you to write down is let's write down the formula, which is y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1, like this. Okay, step one. Write down the point-slope form formula. Now we need to write a formula that goes through these points. Um, a good thing that I would recommend for you guys to do for your notes is I'd actually recommend that you guys write down this entire question, just this one, not the other ones. I know, please don't complain. Just write this one down so you know what I'm talking about for your next problems when you need to come back. Okay, so you write down this problem and now all we need to do is plug in something. So let's see, what information do we have? We have our coordinate, so negative six and one. We can label this x1, we can label this y1, okay? And then we have our slope, m is equal to 2 over 3, like this. We have enough information to plug everything in. So I'm going to make this purple, that's going to be purple. Then I'm going to label this green, green, and I'm going to label this yellow, and then this is going to be yellow. So all we got to do is plug everything in. So this y stays exactly the same we have minus and what is our y1 it's just one parentheses is equal to what is our slope our slope is 2 over 3 parentheses this x stays the same minus and what's our x1 that's negative 6 okay and that's it there's nothing left for us to do this is the uh, question that's it there's no that's all it asks us to do don't have to do anything else all right Let's try uh, another one. Here we go. It says write the equation in point slope form. So step one I'd always recommend is just write down your point slope form formula. We have, sorry, I just yawned again. Y minus Y1 is equal to M parentheses X minus X1. There we go. So we have our slope. We have X1 and Y1. Please also copy this down for your notes, this question right there. So let's plug it in. This y stays the same. Maybe do it in a different color. Here we go. Y stays the same. Minus parentheses. What is our y1? It's 2. All right. Got rid of that. Is equal to uh, not m. What is our m? Negative 4 parentheses. This x stays the same. Minus. And what is our 1? Our x. x1. 1. Like this. And there you go. 
we just solved the problem in slope intercept form it's going to make a whole bunch of sense once we put all of this together okay here we go let's try the one let's put this into slope intercept form sorry point slope form we have x1 y1 we have an our slope so y minus y1 is equal to um, m parentheses x minus x1 all right so let's plug in some things this y stays the same y minus parentheses zero is equal to one parentheses x minus and what is this seven like that okay done uh, this part's easy because we're not actually solving for anything yet uh, once we start solving and putting these together it's gonna make a lot of sense okay so <laughs> Let's try one more. Sorry. I on again. Please copy this question down. Here we go. We have y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1. There we go. Here's my x1, y1, and my slope. So y minus uh, negative 5 is equal to negative 3 over 4 parentheses x minus a negative 8. So you might be thinking, like, Mr. Grew, why do you put these double negatives? Well, it's because we have to put this in parentheses, okay? Uh, because you're going to notice sometimes we're going to have questions that have those double negatives over there. And that's why we do that. All right? Good. So we put some questions into uh, point slope form. Now all we need to do is try and solve some of these problems. All right, so here we go. Here is a problem. What do I want you to copy down? I want you to copy down this question. Find the slope. Use point 0.24 and negative 5 over 2. Um, notice they have this t-chart over here for you. Now, up to this point, we were using uh, slope intercept form, right? Like y equals mx plus b. In the last lesson, we found our y-intercept, and then we found our slope, and that other things. This equation makes this a lot faster. So, I'm gonna, it's going to be very quick. Watch this. So first thing we need to find, notice we don't have any zeros, so we don't know our y-intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to find our slope. So to find our slope, what is the formula? You have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so x1, y1, x2, y2. We have negative 2 minus 4 over 5 minus 2. So that's negative 6 over, what is that? 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 6 over 3 is just negative 2. So we know m is equal to negative 2. And now we have x1 and y1. So now let's just plug it in, right? x1, y1. We have y minus y1 is equal to m m parentheses x minus x1 all right let's plug everything in we have y minus what's our y1 that's 2 right i'm talking about that is equal to what's our slope negative 2 parentheses x minus oops i did that wrong i apologize that's not 2 y1 is 4 and then x minus x1 that's 2 right there like that Okay, so now that we have this, let's just solve some things really quick. Let's do this. So we have y minus 4 is equal to negative 2x, and the negative times a negative makes that a positive, plus 4. All right, now all we need to do is just solve for get y by itself. So what is the opposite of subtracting 4? That's add, f oh, sorry, add 4. I'm jumping ahead add 4 because it has no variables so now you just have y is equal to minus 2x plus 8 notice we found our y intercept and that is how you would solve this problem I know I jumped around a, li a little bit but we're just adding all of the steps that we learned up to date let's do this again and let's solve here we go write an equation in slope intercept form that's y equals mx plus b that goes through these points so we're going to use our sl uh, point slope form formula so step one is you want to find your slope m is equal how do you find that you're going to use your formula y2 minus y1 over 
x2 minus x1. Let's label x1, y1, x2, y2. So you now have negative 4 minus 1 over 3 minus a negative 2. We have a double negative there. Make that positive. The numbers on top are the same. So negative 4 minus 1 gives you negative 5 over 3 plus 2 gives you 5. And to simplify that, negative 5 over 5 just gives you negative 1. So you now found your letter M. And now we just have to use our uh, x1, y1. So x1, y1. Let's use our point slope form formula. y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1. All right, let's plug it in. So we have y. Let's erase some of this here. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. So we have our y minus, what's our y1? Our y1 is 1. And our slope is negative 1, parentheses x, minus what's our x1? This time we have to put our, like this. All right, let's simplify some stuff. Here we go. We do have a double negative. So that's going to turn positive. So you have y minus 1 is equal to negative 1 x and then that's a double positive right double negative so that makes two and then negative one times a positive two gives you negative two like this all right so now we just need to solve that's plus one cross that off plus one you know have y is equal to negative one x that's different sign subtract two minus one is one minus one like this and there you go we solved our problem Let's try uh, another one, and this is your last one. Here we go. I do want you to copy this box down so you have it. We're going to solve this again using point slope form. So you have y minus y1 is equal to m parentheses x minus x1, like this. Let's label x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. All right. First things first, let's use our slope formula. We have y2 minus, oops, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus y, sorry, x2 minus a, x1. Let's erase that. All right, y2 is 3 minus 5 over negative 3 minus a negative 5, double negative, so that's negative 2 over negative 3, different signs, 5 minus 3 is 2. So negative 2 over 2 gives you just negative 1. So our m is equal to negative 1. All right. Now, let's just plug in our numbers. So we have y minus our parentheses. What's our y1? That's 5. Parentheses is equal to what's our slope? m is equal to negative 1. <laughs> parentheses, x minus, what's our x1? So we're going to put a negative 5, parentheses, and end the parentheses. All right, so there we go. Uh, let's solve this right here. We have a double negative that turns positive. So you actually have negative 1, parentheses, x plus 5, parentheses, like this, is equal to, let's just solve this right now. That is multiplication, right? So that's y minus 5. Let's solve this. So negative 1 times x is negative 1 x. Negative 1 times a positive 5 is negative 5. All right, so we got this. Now let's solve for our y. Well, what is the opposite of subtracting 5? That's plus 5. Don't forget to cross that off. You have y is equal to plus 5. Crosses off. It's 0, so I don't need to even add the 0. So y is equal to negative 1 x. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you solve problems in point slope form. We'll do a few more practice problems in class, and then I'll let you guys get started on your homework. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.